What's up, everybody? It's Rose, and you are now listening to A Black Voice. What's going on, everybody? Today, I got another good video for you guys. In this video, I'm going to do a short animation of a conversation with Martin Luther King that I think, you know, expresses the need or reason for why reparations needs to be passed for black Americans, specifically ADOS. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure you smash that like button, hit the subscribe, and stay tuned. Uh, more good videos on the way. I think the vast majority of white Americans uh, will go but so far. It's a kind of installment plan for equality. And uh, they are always looking for an excuse uh, to go but so far. Why are they looking for the excuse? What is it about the Negro? I mean, every other group that came as an immigrant somehow, not easily, but somehow got around it. Is it just the fact that Negroes are black? That's a part of it, and growing, that grows out of something else. You can't thingify anything without depersonalizing that something. If you use something as a means to an end, at that moment you make it a thing and you depersonalize it. The fact is that the Negro was a slave in this country for 244 years. That act, uh, that was uh, a willful thing that was done. The Negro was brought here and changed, treated in very inhuman fashion. And this led to the thingification of the Negro. So he was not looked upon as a person. He was not looked upon as a human being with the same uh, status and worth as other human beings. And the other thing is that human beings cannot continue to do wrong without eventually uh, rationalizing that wrong. So slavery was justified morally, biologically, uh, theoretically, scientifically, everything else. And it seems to me that white America must see that no other ethnic group has been a slave on American soil. Uh, that is one thing that other immigrant groups haven't had to face. The other thing is that the color became a stigma. American society made the Negro's color a stigma. And uh, that can never be uh, overlooked. So I think these things are absolutely necessary. The other thing is that America freed the slaves in 19... I mean, 1863, through the Emancipation Proclamation of Abraham Lincoln, but gave the slaves no land or nothing in reality, and as a matter of fact, to, to get started on. At the same time, America was giving away millions of acres of land in the West and the Midwest, which meant that there was a willingness to give the white peasants from Europe an economic base. And yet it refused to give its black peasants from Africa who came here involuntarily in chains and had worked free for 244 years any kind of economic base. And so emancipation for the Negro was really freedom to hunger. It was freedom uh, to the winds and rains of heaven. It was freedom without food to eat or land to cultivate. And therefore it was freedom and famine at the same time. And when white Americans tell the Negro to lift himself by his own bootstraps, they don't, oh, they don't look over the legacy of slavery and segregation. I believe we ought to do all we can and seek to lift ourselves by our own bootstraps. But uh, it's a cruel jest to say to a bootless man that he ought to lift himself by his own bootstraps. And many Negroes, by the thousands and millions, have been left bootless as a result of all of these years of oppression and as a result of a society that deliberately made his color a stigma and something worthless and degrading. Apart from wanting to live better, which all of us want to do, to raise one's children in a better way, to be better, does the Negro in America know what he wants to be? I'm convinced that uh, almost every Negro in this country, other than those who have been so scarred by the system that they've become pathological in the process, and we all have to battle with pathology. Nobody really knows what it means uh, to be a Negro unless one can really experience it. And I know we all have to battle with this constant drain of uh, a feeling of nobodiness. But in spite of this, 
Uh, I think the vast majority of Negroes in this country know that they want to be people, they want to be men, they want equality, period. It just boils down to that. And we haven't been able to be people, we haven't been men, because of all of the uh, conditions that we've lived with and the syndrome of deprivation surrounding conditions, whether it's in housing, or in the economic area, or in schools, or in the vicious credit practices that we face in the ghetto, and all of the problems of closed doors and constant defeats. But uh, in spite of all this, I think we all know uh, basically that we want to be men, we want to be persons judged not on the basis of the color of our skin, but on the basis of the content of our character.